am here from Aunt M's Quilts and M's Scrap Bag with my sidekick and partner in crime, Ruth Davis of Ruthie's Quilts Long Arming Services. And today we're going to discuss ways to quilt my clamshell pattern. And I will put a link to that in the description notes. Um, so if you like our, my videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Thanks. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start away from me just so I don't end up with a black. black Expo marker all over my hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and work my way this way. So what I'm going to do is, and I, at home I'd be using a ruler because I like rulers. Now here I need to get to the point of the next half circle, which I'm going to travel along the seam. And I'm going to do my next diamond. And then here I'm at the point of the next circle, so I'm going to do my diamond. And they're not pretty because I don't have a ruler. If I had a ruler with me, they'd be gorgeous. And they would be. Remember to look her up on Facebook, Ruthie Quilts, so you can see how awesome her work is. I'm not kidding you. She's awesome. Okay, so we're going to call it good just the way it is. In this open space, and I know that this is a black marker on, on black fabric, but sometimes, and I'm going to tell you right now, that's one of the hardest thing, uh, things about aging eyes is seeing black thread on black uh, fabric, whatever this is we're working with or pretending to work with. Now, I can went up there with a small little swirl, and I can do that, no problem. So this, again, is taking the juxtaposition of the sharp angles of the diamonds and putting circles next to it which really makes it pop. I would just stitch in the ditch around this but if you don't like stitch in the ditch I don't. The other would be fine. Because I can't do a straight line. Mine are all organic no matter how hard I try. If I wanted to come in and do more quilting here this would be something that would be cute. Just a little swirlies and go in different directions almost like a little wild hairs. Y'all get those wild hairs sometimes. Just give your quilt to someone who doesn't quilt and they will think you're totally awesome and think you have skills like no other. Okay. So that just adds another little element if you like it. If not, you know, do as much or as little as you want. Right. So if you've been on my blog, you've seen how I've quilted this one way where I did feathers. Like I said, I usually do a chalk line so I know what I'm following. And I just come up. Sometimes my feathers are big. I'm just trying to fill the space. And then in here I did pebbles. And if you know me, everything I do is kind of organic, so don't expect these to be true circles. Okay, another way, I've done this quilt more than once because originally I designed this for my sister's fabric, Salt Air, my sister Julie Comstock of Cosmo Cricket. But, um, so I just came in here and did these loopy things. And then I went here and did a loopy thing. But I think I just stippled in here some options that you can do for this clamshell slash drug card path. So that is how you do the, those are just some ideas. I will put um, links to these patterns in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.